I figured I'd make a video of describing my ideological spectrum. And it'll only be like, be a very short video since it's not that much. And I know that, whatever. I consider myself straight in the middle, not left, and neither right. And why, and this, while this isn't necessarily an indicator that I'm better by any means, I think it describes the nature of my blogs and when I talk my shit, the way I speak about it. See, I have the elements of leftism in regards to how. I speak about class struggle, but I also have elements of the right in regards to how I talk about structure of nations, state, and military, although I haven't really gotten much into the military part. I think that's probably because I'm focused on ideology too, which could be considered right-wing. that's structuralism. So I consider myself straight in the middle because I like to talk about all these little things and speci specialties in regards to my anti-statism, my anarchism, and my libertarianism and all forms a nice pretty triad. And just so that people know, I'm um, leftism doesn't mean liberalism, just as rightism doesn't necessarily mean conservatism. That's something that's thrown around a lot. And they don't necessarily mean the same things. I consider myself an advocate of liberty, a person who prefers the longevity of the nation, which is why I'm anti status. And I don't want problems of high consolidations and low ideologies that cause a train wreck to the nation and the state. Well, the state wouldn't bother me if that collapses, but the nation. Yeah. And I speak about nations a lot. That's another thing I gotta talk about. Why not make this video talking about several things at once? Now, when I talk about nations, what I really mean is just like large clusters of people interacting. So you could really consider it civilization, except more of a cultural outlook. Oh, I'm on reserve battery power. That blows. I've got nine minutes remaining. Yet in actuality, I see you in actuality a lot. It's one of my perks. One that I've had since I was 13. And now I'm 16, so that really blows. So you can just call it the opposite of the tribe. I think those lower interactions and clusters of different cultures and people. And as a former primitivist, an anarcho primitivist, I support primitive lifestyles to contrary to the others if need be. And I think that if that happens then there wouldn't be an ideal need for polycentric law because of smaller interactions you might need more monocentricism to deal with things to like the small Dunbar tribes would interact more monocentric means instead of being polycentric in their clusters of interactions and things of that nature. Alright, so I spoke about two things at once. I really after seeing that um debate with fringe elements and skeptical heretics. I don't want people to look at me talking about nations and think I'm some sort of nationalist. 
because then um, I'd end up having a feud with people that have nothing to do with what I'm talking about. That's basically anarchism, anti-statism, and libertarianism. Which, yeah, I value a lot. One more thing, um, let me just make an overview of the left and right dichotomy. So I've gone in the middle because of containing both leftist and rightist elements into my arguments. And, yeah, I'm not liberal nor conservative. I've explained my reasons. And I'm an advocate of liberty, freedom, well that's up to you, that's up to the individual, the subject, not this object I'm looking at and speaking to and archiving my thoughts. Oh well, whatever.